Good morning, everybody. This is V from the Q Kitchen and Beyond, and today we are beyond the Q Kitchen. I wanted to show you, I've got all my little potatoes chitted. My children think that's funny. They think they want to charge me 50 cents every time I say that. Because um, that's what we do in the house when you curse. Uh, so, <laughs> I have got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 here. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Oh yeah. These are organic gold potatoes. And they are quite beautiful. Now I'm not gonna plant these upstairs in my apartment. Um, as y'all may have realized I live in a third story apartment. Um, and my space is quite limited. But we've got a community garden that's going to be starting soon. And I figure we can put these little potatoes. Look at that one. My daughter, Essie, every time she sees these, she calls them potatoes with hair. And she thinks they're, um, she likes to listen to the small potato songs. So she thinks they're small potatoes with hair and they need a haircut. So, whatever. Now this is one of my worm bins. I planted two little Walla Walla onions in there. And those are my Scottish curled leaf kale over there. Um, now those seeds that I planted there, those Scottish curled leaf kale seeds, are like five years old. And I did dense plant them hoping to use them um, as cut and come agains microgreens but uh, that's all that came out so that's like not even a bite um, so what I'm gonna do is pull some of those up cut their little um, stems off I mean their uh, roots off and use them on a salad later today I am going to um, put them in a grow bag but I'm only gonna put um, three of them in there so I'm going to choose the three nicest ones and put them in a grow bag today and let them grow to their full potential now this is my other worm bin and I've got all kinds of miscellaneous things growing in here um, I had some mystery seeds that uh, isn't that a nice contraption that's my fly trap and it's actually working really well <laughs> um, so I'm going to put the little cups back in here, but um, I need to water this container. But there's all kinds of little things growing in here. Um, these, I believe, are my chamomile, and I'm really happy they're finally growing. There's a few in there. i got to get more um, sticky traps today. I'm, I'm fairly certain that one's done its job and should be retired soon so <laughs> there is one of my determinate oh no that's a cherry that's one of my sun sugar yellow cherry tomatoes that I bought from the Walmart rescued from the Walmart it was looking pretty rough it's got to be repotted today and I'm going to put it in a cloth bag as well here's another worm bin I've got a lot of worm bins um that's my Matoyo eggplant, and it's still not growing. Um, I only have one heat mat at the moment, and I've got my Santa Fe peppers from Mr. Joe in there. So, yeah. These are my strawberries, my ever-bearing strawberries that I bought from Walmart. Again, another <laughs> rescue. Um, this one, I don't know if I need to cut as little. It got damaged in the bag. There's one there, one there, and then this one, which is growing great, so I have no idea. Um, these, I believe, are my okra. That, that, and that are sunflowers. I'm not really sure why that one looks like that. This right here is my loofah gourd. Um, it's actually the only one that's growing. I put some in here that were starting to grow, and nothing happened. So, 
Oh, no, I take that back. There's another one right there. Um, so that one's at least growing. <laughs> um, not sure what's going on with that. Oh, gross. Yuck. Oops, I didn't realize I was still recording.